What's going on everyone? Welcome back to T3G. My name is Dalibor and today we are looking at the Unique U lighting kit. Well, it is an off-brand version. Stick around. Whatever it is that you do, do the damn thing. Now, I say off-brand because there's about four or five of these that I've found that are all the same and most of them use the exact same photos. So that leads me to believe that this is all the same product packaged and priced differently by seller. The premise here is that this is a hefty basin. I will say it is pretty hefty. I'd say this is the actual measurement. It's pretty, I mean, like it's a pretty hefty unit and it contains everything you need for top down, face front, pretty much any kind of shooting you could do with a phone. The easiest way to get to all of the guts is to push out the back here. You're gonna come out, tighten it down to the base. And now you get the gist here, right? So here you've got a light on both sides and we'll turn both on momentarily here. And it is uh, by color. So there's a warm and a cool setting. So the light controls are right at the bottom. The only two buttons on the device itself. There is a remote, we'll get to that in a minute. Press and hold will give you a low level cool light. Second press will raise it all the way up. So there is no graduated leveling. Then we'll go warm low, warm high, and then mix low, mix high, and another level high for that one. The third level only being available in the mix setting. Not really sure why that is, but it is. So now we have the base here. The remote is inside of the base, comes out, and it's a tiny little remote. It is a line of sight remote, and there is a receiver on the inside here, so this will not work if I do anything from any other direction, but if you point it directly on, same controls, and this is also Bluetooth and will connect to your device to let you press the photo shutter button. So we're gonna put this on the table here and just show you the height. We have pretty solid height. That's for me sitting, that is a full extension of the arm. And we're gonna come back down and you're gonna see where the real magic happens. It does turn here at the top. And what you're gonna do is turn it. And then we have a joint here Boom, there are your top down shots. You have a shorter option and a longer option. That does come into play depending on the size and weight of your phone. On a short height like this, my hefty LG wing does pretty well. So it does pretty well. Like it's still like too much of a press on the phone. It will tip, uh, but if you pull it in, it does become a lot more difficult to do that. Like it still comes back. Now all the way up, even on the shorter extension, it becomes, it becomes quite touchy. So really the functionality is going to depend on how you're going to use it. Now we're gonna go into the top down camera here, get it out of my face. We're gonna go into the top down camera here and you'll see that at the shorter length here, uh, it is showing you the base as well. So you would need to, at least in this mode, extend all the way out and even then, See how, it, because it's so hefty, you gotta, it would need to be vertical. It would need to be perfectly horizontal for it to not be there. But with the weight of the phone, it's still pulled down. It's not, not a good time. So there would need to be likely some editing. Now, if you were to go this way, you're not gonna see it. Let's see, I don't even know if you're gonna see it. Yeah, you are gonna see it in the, in the shorter, but this way is at least out of view, and then you're gonna be able to have that lighting. There it is, that's the brightest. This is the problem, obviously, if you're gonna have something that's reflective, you're gonna see the light reflected, but otherwise, go with something a little more matte, you're gonna see no reflection. You get a nice top-down angle, and everything's kind of put into one, right? That's the real benefit here. This can have the potential of being an all-in-one setup, right? For instance, this, Pretty solid for a top down. If you want to do a TikTok unboxing or review or a reading, it's right there, right? But for instance, if we switch and go this way, and we're gonna go vertical here. Now granted, I'm gonna turn the backlight off here. So here's the top down light, and then if we go inside light, max brightness, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It gives you some separation from the background. It does give you more of a spotlight, but if you are like myself and have glasses, that's gonna be a problem. Now, additionally, if you are like myself and have a pretty large phone, first of all, this is pulling down on it, right? So I'm already at an angle. 
so it's not, not, not the greatest shot here. And the light is about a quarter covered here, so you're not even getting the full effect of that front light, which kind of sucks. Now, I will say for the versatility aspect of it, it's pretty solid, right? You could have this be kind of right there on your table. You can do everything you need. It's right there. It takes up a very small footprint, but you are going to need to contend with those things like if your phone is hefty. This is not, like, even up here, it's tilting because it's a hefty phone. Let's see. Look at this. Okay. Like, that's, that's not great. That's not great. So, I don't know. There's not really, not really a way to tighten it up. That's a little better. So, if you put the joint back into the previous, but this up here is still very loose. So, this joint up here still makes it very, so even if I hold the base completely, it's still very loose on the top joint. I will say, uh, as far as phone holders go, it's pretty solid. Uh, it is adjustable kind of one way or another. So that could help with some of the balance issues, but I don't think it's really gonna be that effective to offset the, the sag. Overall, the compact aspect of it, the compactness is pretty nice. So once you have take your phone out, these fold down and then it's flat again. And like I showed before, you just gotta undo this down. Boom. And it's, I mean, it's nice. It's, I don't want to say it's pocketable, but it's definitely, you can throw it in a bag. The light is definitely not as bright as I would like, nor is it as diffused as I'd like. You can definitely see the individual LEDs behind the diffuser. Not my favorite. That's a big factor, especially if you have glasses that could end up looking really, really bad. The height is fantastic. You could have a lot of options and opportunities to take some interesting shots, but I will say that's, kind of it there's not really much else to it the fact that the remote is limited to line of sight that really only makes it so you can turn the light on from this angle right if you're pointing from this way because if it's pointing away from you it won't accept it because it's there's no there's nothing on the back it's only on the front here now the reason i introduced this as the unique u lighting kit is because a friend of mine was actually targeted by an ad on facebook by Unique U. She showed it to me and I said, oh man, I didn't realize that was $80. I thought I had added that to a wish list to review at a later point, but I didn't think it was $80. Uh, well, purportedly, according to the Unique U website, it was $80 on sale from, I think, $120. So, you know, in theory, they're saying this is a $120 product and I just don't think that's true. I picked this one up for $50 on Amazon, one of several options under 60 bucks. I went for the cheapest one I could find. They're all on sale from a more expensive price, but honestly, I don't think this is worth 50 bucks. I think this is a $30 product. It's completely plastic. There's not a lot of rigidity to the actual mount, so you're not getting a ton of stability. Uh, I mean, the, the most expensive part is probably the lighting because the base, even though it's hefty, I mean, it's just probably a chunk of metal in there. It's not that big a deal. So like the cost isn't that high uh, and you could get LED lights like this in this in this quality and I would say in this poor of quality for about 15 bucks. So I don't really see the point of paying 50 for this whole contraption. Now I am well known for my compartmentalization. So I would definitely say have a light separate, have a mount separate, everything should be separate because then it gives you the most versatility. This locks you into one position. Granted, you have a few options within that position, but it's still that one position. You need this much space on a table or surface in order to make this work in any way. Without that, you can't use this to film. You can't use the light separately. You can't put the light on a bookcase somewhere. I would honestly just pick up a different small light and just a phone stand. You can get a decent stand and a decent light and collect both for about 30 bucks. And that way you could do whatever you want, put it wherever you want. The light can be off the side because as we all know, it's not the best thing to have the light right in front of you. Here's the light off to the side and you still see a reflection. It's not perfectly 45 degrees, but man, if it was right in front of me, do you see like the, 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 the see the fucking blast that I have here? Plus the reflection. That's why I went offset, right? So that's why here I went even, I pushed it even a little further and turned it. So I still get the light, but it's a little more to the room as well. Controllable, 
I didn't have to move my camera. I didn't have to readjust anything. I have full control of how my light sits, where it sits. I just don't, 50 bucks? Definitely not 80 bucks, like that's insane. Like I said, all of these products have the same photos pretty much. A couple of them have some different ones, but they're basically the same setup. I don't think there's any difference between this cheap $50 one, well, cheap, and the $70, $80 one that Unique U is trying to sell you. If I'm wrong, Unique U, hit me up, DMs are open. I'm happy to give it another shot. I'm happy to give your product a shot if it is different or better than this product. I just don't think it is. I think one company made it, and it might have been Unique U to do it first, and everyone else copied it, and there's not really much to it that isn't copyable. I mean, this is like a basic monopod inside of a plastic housing. Like, there's not much to this. Like, everything here, everything on this can be replicated. I mean, just here's the problem. Like, this is the biggest problem. There's no rigidity to that. Like if just this was more rigid, this might be worth something. But there's just there's no way to there's no way to tighten it. There's no way to improve it. it it's it's not enough options for what it is and for the price point that it is. I mean, honestly, even if you were to take this 50 bucks and turn it into a much more intricate kit for your phone you'd be doing yourself a favor. This is absolutely not something I would recommend. This, it, it fails, I think, in almost every way, except, oh, it's got USB-C charging. I mean, it's 2022. I shouldn't even have to bring that up, but there it is. Everything else, I mean, even this, right? It, it, it's not locked into place. There are some opportunities to improve this if, if this join at the top was more solid if the 90 degree arm was more solid and just kind of stood in place as opposed to and honestly even this no because the weight's gonna bend it yeah it's there's just too many things that aren't doing what they should do now nah. now nah. i'm gonna have to mark this as a pass if you want to check it out i have i have uh, linked it down below Affiliate links, of course, if you use that, I appreciate you. I mean, hey, this might be the solution you need if you have a small phone, like a iPhone mini or something along those lines. I just don't, if you have any kind of AAA phone, I don't know if I said AAA, like what do they call them? Flagship, if you have a flagship phone, if you have a S22, certainly not an S22 Ultra, like, a, you know, like an S21 Ultra, Pixel, what is it, Pixel Pro? I don't even remember. XL, Pixel XL, I don't, like if you have any of these bigger phones, this is not the move. This is just not the move. That's gonna be it for this one. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this or if you have any suggestions for other products of this kind, please drop them down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.